So you still don't quite understand how energy works in Armored Core. Not a problem. You can read all the technical definitions if you want, but in actual practice, here's what all this means. Capacity is your total energy available. So if we pick a generator with extremely high capacity, look how many times I can quick boost in a single charge. Now look what happens when I use a generator with a low capacity. See that? Because we have less total capacity, the amount of quick boosts I can get from a single charge is way less, even with the same boosters. Now recharge is how long you have to wait until your energy starts to come back. If we take a generator with a high recharge, look how long it takes for my energy to start recovering. Now let's compare that to a generator with a low recharge. See that? Time it takes for my energy to start recovering is much longer. Now supply recover is the same exact thing as recharge, but when you have no energy left remaining. Here's what it looks like when you run out of energy with a low supply recovery. Now here's what it looks like when you run out of energy with a high supply recovery. So if you run out of energy completely, supply recovery is how long it takes before your generator can start recharging. Energy specialization is just damage. The higher this value, the more damage you'll do with energy weapons. And last is output. The more output you have, the faster your bar fills up after it starts to recharge. So here's what low output looks like. Now here is what high output looks like. As you can tell, the higher the output, the faster it fills up after it starts. Now something you need to understand is just because you can afford a bunch of energy weapons doesn't mean you should. Armored Core has always rewarded players for holding back and making sure you have surplus energy. To demonstrate this, here is an AC where I am using the Santai, which is known for having very good recharge rates and capacity. Now look how fast my energy recovers after I do quick boosts. Now, with the exact same AC, I am going to instead equip weapons that do not drain as much energy. Now look how fast my energy recovers. See that? Because my weapons use less energy, the total amount of extra energy I have gets translated to speed at which my generator recharges. Now there is one last important piece to the energy puzzle that you need to understand in Armored Core 6, and that is your core. Your core can magnify your generator's attributes, and it does this to the point where I actually believe that your core is probably more important than your generator. Every core has three key stats for energy. The first one is boost efficiency. The higher this value, the less energy it takes to quick boost. To demonstrate this, here is my AC using the Noctrayer core, which has the best booster efficiency in the game. Look how many times I can quick boost. Now watch that same AC with the worst booster efficiency in the game. As you can see, the Noctrier allows me to quick boost a lot more because it has much better booster efficiency, which means that each quick boost uses less energy. Generator output is the same as energy output, so this affects the speed at which your recharge fills up after it starts recharging. To show you what I mean, when we're using the standard core, this is what it looks like. Now watch what happens with the Ephemera. So the more output you have, the faster the bar fills. And supply is how long it takes for the recharge to start. So the higher the value, the less time you have to wait before the recharge starts.
So you have to decide what's most important for you. If you choose the booster efficiency for the Noctrier, you're also gonna have to accept the terrible output, which means your recharge speed to fill up will be extremely slow. But if you want the fastest fill speed in the game, you're probably gonna want the Ephemera, which has less booster efficiency, but fills up super fast. Or you could have it all and just be super slow and heavy with the HAL, it's really up to you. A core is like a second generator, and that is actually the secret to the old aerial combat style that most veterans have been using since Armored Core back in the 2000s. Look at my energy when I use a core that's not designed for flight. Now look at my energy when I use a core that is designed for flight. See that? If you manage your energy properly, you can get energy that recovers quickly while you're falling in midair, which means you never need to land. Now I know a lot of the new kids are using the cool new coral generators and quads to do a lot of tricks to hover infinitely, but the problem with that is coral generators take 17 years to recharge, which means you're a complete sitting duck while waiting for that emergency supply to kick in. But if you just use an energy efficient AC, you don't even need the Coral Gen for infinite flight. Like, you can see me right now, I basically never need to land. And even if I do run out of energy, watch what happens. See that? No coral generator, but because my AC's energy management is so good, I basically get the effects of a coral generator without the drawbacks a coral generator usually has. So, that is how a raven traditionally flies in the sky. I hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.